Let's now ride our video monitors to the Middle East and a question that really was a big question at the start of that vice presidential debate, a breaking point in tensions after Iran launched as many as 200 ballistic missiles into Israel. The big question of whether Israel will respond really appears to have an answer at this hour. CBS News hearing from Israel a vow to deliver what they call a very painful response. And Israel is not alone in this. The White House is now echoing that very same message. You just heard President Joe Biden talking about sanctions there on the tarmac on his way to North Carolina. Severe consequences promised by the United States. And look at this, and listen to this. Our monitors have this new video and the sounds showing us the very moments U.S. Navy crews in that region launched missiles in defense of Israel during that Iranian attack. Darkness, and then watch this, the fire in the night. Every one of these uh, projectiles launched to try to take down an Iranian missile. And right now, it does appear that U.S. muscle took down a lot of those Iranian missiles before they could hit key targets in Israel. So let's go live now to Tel Aviv, where that sky lit up with those missiles you just saw. CBS News digital international reporter Haley Ott with us now. Haley, we're glad you're okay. Israel promising a major response there. What do we know about Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's plans? The short answer is not very much. Netanyahu vowed that Iran would pay for its barrage of missiles that it launched at Israel, but that's about all the detail that we got. Israeli officials have said that enemies of Israel throughout the Middle East should know that Israel can reach them, and if they don't understand that yet, they soon will. But those are the kinds of statements that we are hearing today, and we're not expecting to get any more details of any sort of Israeli response before it begins. And that is what is so concerning to people who are watching this conflict and worrying that we could be at a point where it spirals out of control. So we've seen a lot of response there in the sky in some of that video as we watch the sky right now where you are reporting for any action. But we also understand that Israel has announced moving further troops to the border with Lebanon, the ground game, so to speak. So let's keep it focused on that ground combat in Lebanon. What can you tell us? Yes, yeah, so today, as so many people have been thinking about what Israel's response to Iran might be, its operations in Lebanon and in Gaza have continued. The ground operation in Lebanon is continuing. There have been strikes on both sides of the border. And today, Israel announced its first casualties in that operation, eight IDF troops who have died. And Israeli strikes in Gaza have continued today. Dozens of people have been killed in those strikes, which are ongoing as well. So, Haley, before we let you go, uh, we're mindful that while this all plays out, Hamas continues to hold hostages, and every one of those hostages has a family that's terrified and worried. Your reporting with the families of those hostages goes back almost a year. How are these families reacting to this news? Yes, I spent a few hours today with one of the families that I met soon after the October 7th attacks. They've spent the past year trying to get the six members of their family, some of them killed, some of them taken hostage by Hamas, back home. They've succeeded with all but one of their family members. And today is actually Rosh Hashanah. That's the Jewish New Year. So they were preparing for a big family meal. And they're going to leave a seat empty for one of their family members at that meal this evening. That person is still being held in Gaza. They say, and the people that they're working with, other family members um, of people who have been take, taken hostage, say that they're going to continue pushing for some sort of deal to get their family members released. All right, Haley, thank you so much for that. We're mindful of the October anniversary of the terrible attacks by Hamas in Israel and thinking about those families and so many people affected by all of this violence. Haley, be safe yourself.